Hello YouTube. Welcome from my stoop. I'm sitting here in my man cave slash windy house office slash <laughs> what can I call it? Store room. Uh, this is also the same room or office or place where I did my very first video. Um, so I'm sitting here today as I've got some things to do uh, but I thought I just wanted to to give a quick reply on some of the questions that uh, that I received um, uh, Benjamin Quasada asked on the videos um, on the previous video why do I number my tobacco I've got no idea <laughs> um, I think well how it happened was uh, on tobacco seller.com they automatically give a number for every tobacco that you add on, on that uh, tool. So I just followed through and uh, and numbered and wrote the number on it uh, and the year. I think w w how it helped me in the past was when I ha when I go to tobaccoseller.com and I finish a, a, a tobacco I would then normally, you know, it might sometimes happen that I've got two open, a, a young one and an older one, uh, and by using the numbers I know which one uh, was finished. Uh, so yeah, it's there's no there's no compelling reason for doing it, but uh, I thought you know, as part part of my cataloging, I continued the uh, the practice of uh, of numbering my tobaccos. And then uh, I had another question from uh, Sergeant Dest Deathstroke. He is a new pipe smoker from Cape Town, so a fellow South African, and he asked me for uh, some advice on uh, tobacco and pipes and accessories for new pipe smokers. So I thought I would quickly answer his question, or I'll try and, and answer his question. The first thing is to have a pipe tool to uh, clean your bowl. A little knife to clean the uh, carbon layer or from time to time and uh, and a flat part for tamping as in, as you know I do make my own tampers also they have they don't include obviously the other two parts but for a start this is what you need secondly anything to rest your pipe on otherwise everything is full of ash and uh, so that's also a, a nice tool to have as a start you get different types and things the, this one I particularly like uh, but you can you you can also buy one of one of those other folding ones on my website I do have some of them uh, yeah this is the one I use actually the most so that's also very nice to have. Uh, what else? Thirdly, a pouch. I like this one because it's got a place for three pipes and a little bag there for 
accessories and also another bag for accessories oh here's another pipe stand which my dog got hold of but it's very nice one it's a leather one which you just push like this and then you can rest your pipe on it like this so that's also quite a nice one even if your dog got hold of it it can still work <laughs> so and then lighters obviously I like Zippo so lighters is also another necessary tool um, and then in terms of, of pipes uh, I've got here two uh, I've got here two pipes which I think is actually very nice for beginners the one is a Savinelli Primo uh, Prima Furo which means in it in in uh, Italian I think uh, first smoke it's not too expensive you can get them from Wesley's uh, but they it's a very nice pipe I like this one um, and then pipes and kayaks has gifted me this one recently you will, you will remember from my Yabo it's also a fairly uh, uh, decent price for a beginner they call it uh, Savinelli 1 which is for you know begin, beginning smo beginners smokers very nice smokes very nice uh, and it's also not too expensive for beginning uh, when you start to begin smoke um, of course there's also a, a Kaiser which is very popular and available in South Africa I know a lot of people doesn't like uh, Kaiser that much but I must tell you uh, I've got three of them and uh, I've they they smoke perfectly well and they very uh, rigid they can take quite a hammering so they also not a bad choice for a for a beginner I would not go for the very cheap pipes like no I, I'm, I don't want to mention the names but uh, you do get very cheap starter, starter pipes and um, my personal opinion is if you if you buy a cheap pipe because you're not sure whether you're going to like it or not the chances you're not going to like it because the pipe plays a role in, in, in the smoking exercise and experience I would then rather say uh, go on eBay and go and have a look at, uh, at a pipe there, a second hand pipe um, I also have second hand pipes which I planning to, to sell so rather buy a, a good second hand pipe than a brand new cheap pipe that's my personal opinion and then in terms of, of tobacco that's a difficult one because tastes are very very different and because I am a Latakia lover or English blend lover so yeah that's a difficult one um, most pipe smokers start off with cherry aromatics I don't know why but it's just like that um, I would think for uh, I must now also think in terms of availability in South Africa if you look at availability in South Africa the Peterson's Balkan Delight is probably not a bad uh, starter tobacco um, and also 
maybe any of the house plants, especially in Cape Town, there's a, a shop uh, just close to the Green Market Square where you can buy a house blend, a Balkan or an English house blend, which is fairly good. Uh, and then the, I'm not sure whether a new pipe smoker will, will like uh, uh, Old Dublin from Peterson's, but they are, are also fairly available in South Africa. Uh, try it, but uh, don't go for cheap uh, tobacco either. Um, I must say it's a, it's a problem in terms of availability in South Africa, but yeah. So, um, Sergeant Deathstroke, I hope I gave you some pointers on what to do and what to buy and uh, what to get as a new pipe smoker. But uh, you're welcome to send me an email uh, for some further advice. But I thought I'd make a video because you're probably not the only one who wants to know uh, what to do. Before I close off, I just want to also mention something else. Uh, I told you that I store all my tobacco on, on the website tobaccoseller.com and then someone posted a link on the comments on the previous video to pipetool.com which is also an online tobacco slash pipe repository database catalog system. Uh, I've just started to, to check it out but it looks very good uh, so let's support the guy let's go and uh, enlist our pipes and our tobacco there uh, it, it looks actually very nice so uh, yeah on that note then uh, friends Thank you for watching and subscribing. And uh, enjoy your, your pipe smoking. Uh, please leave your comments and as I said, please uh, also subscribe. Uh, I love all the questions and uh, this community and this hobby. So thank you for watching and enjoy your day, bye bye.